So your PlayStation screwed up and you want to know how to fix it, right here on Stu's channel. All right, now you take your little tray. I've got all my screws removed. Take my little tray. I'm going to set it over here. The next thing that you're going to do, this thing's going to fall out. I can literally turn this thing over by holding this bottom, turn it over, and it will literally simply fall out of its, of its, uh, of its container. Or you can lift it out. A lot of times it's easy to lift out. Ah, I missed a screw right here. If it doesn't lift out of there, really super easy. You have a screw in, so don't start yanking on it. It'll just fall out of there. So that's the last screw. And this thing will just lift right on out. Take the base, set it aside. This is my little latch that broke. I'm going to stick that in the bowl. On the back side of the PlayStation, you're going to see this black piece here where your power plugs into. There are little nubs on this thing that keep it on. They're here and here, right there. And then on the top, you're going to have one here and you're going to have one over here. You're gently going to want to lift it over the tab on either side using a screwdriver or whatever you have. Lift it over the top. Gently, don't break these things. Here's a tab. And there it is. It fell right off. There's the back piece. So you're down to where you've got the, the board sheathed in a bunch of this metal. Turn it over. It's now time to um, a couple of things. We'll do this step first. These are the bolts that hold your fan on. These things. Go ahead and take them out. Just go ahead and take them out. They're big and fat. Just go for it. Take them out. Like I said before, you see a screw, just go for it. Start unscrewing. Okay. Throw them in your bowl. And we're going to turn this thing over. There's a little thing. Not all systems have this. 40 gigabyte systems don't have this. There's a little thing that looks like a watch battery. Unplug this. This green thing. Gently, gently pull up and take that off. If you forget to put this back in, you're going to lose your time and that whole bit. Your PlayStation won't tell the time. Your fan, it has a wire on this side connected to the board. Disconnect this wire. On some PlayStations, there are two black screws that you actually have to remove, and they're right here, to get your PlayStation apart. Right now, this one here is going to come right off. I'm going to grab onto my fan, I'm going to gently pull it up, and it's going to come off. You see this goo? That's heat sink compound. Set this aside. This is on a hinged setup. This is on the hinge, hinge setup. This is the front of your PlayStation. You notice the little notch. That's where we took that black thing off. You're going to lift this up. If it's a little difficult, use a screwdriver. Put it in just to the side and then move it. To get yourself a little leverage. If this thing isn't coming up pretty easy, you have a screw left over. You're going to have to find out where it is. But this thing right now, gently, You'll want to look to see if you're screwing up any of these ribbons. You'll want to take the thing and pull it off like so. Just tip it up, pull it off, set that side. Alright, we're going to continue on with a different camera. My other one's out of batteries. At this point, you're going to uh, take off the last piece of your PlayStation. It's going to hinge off of the ends here. You see these? These will hinge off of here. There's one, these only go on one way. You'll see how these slip over the top of this thing. Right there like that. They slip on the top like this. This will come off like a hinge. Off like this. Alright? Take this. Make sure that you don't lose your battery. 
set it aside. You're down to the point where you have to clean the living daylights out of this. That's what you have to do. You're going to have to do it. So get yourself some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, uh, and some paper towels. Rubbing alcohol and paper towels, just like so. Don't need a ton of the stuff. Yes, toilet paper does work fine. Here's your, here's your piece. Get your alcohol. Put some alcohol on here, like so. And then start rubbing this stuff off. Try not to get any of it on the board. Any of this extra compound stuff. Try to keep it clean. So just take some off. Flip your rag over or something like so, so that it's still wet or folded inside out like this. So that you can still use it and it'll still pick stuff up. And wipe some more. Try to get the sides off as far as all that junk, that compound that's left over. Get that stuff off of there. Get it off the sides. Try not to get it on the board like I said. Get this thing nice and clean. Then get a nice section here as far as clean and unused and clean this thing off until it is spotless, like so. Just like that. Maybe even a little more. A little alcohol on there. It's okay if you spell alcohol on the board. That's not a big deal. So get this thing nice and clean. Go to your next side. Get all that stuff off. Okay, chucking this into the trash. Getting my new one, just one little piece like so. Little alcohol in the back, bam. Do the top, get the sides. Okay, try to clean it up. Okay, that's clean. You'll also want to do this step. Let me set this aside. I'm going to get the fan unit. The fan unit's filthy as well. Get this stuff off here. Just clean it up really nice. Get that stuff off. Go to the next one, clean it up. All that junk off there. Try not to get it all over the place. Sides, a whole bit. Get any on the, the uh, copper here, just take it off. But you should have a nice, clean, finished shine on these things when you're done. And it's good. Let me give this one last little touch. Alright, get your clean one. Wipe it up. You are now done with the alcohol. Go give it back to mom, alright? Or sister. If you had to use um, fingernail polish remover, yes, indeed, that will work. Take your fan unit that's cleaned up, set it aside. I'll be right back.